Those who didn't leave were sealed alive in their homes at 3 a.m. while they were sleeping. Some shocking videos circulating on social media tonight show some Harvey residents boarded up into their own apartments. Some of these people were elderly, one of which had just been diagnosed with cancer. Was deemed uninhabitable by professional certified court enforcement officers. Not the police department, not the fire department. Now, for example, give me good and I didn't interrupt you and don't interrupt me. Imagine being trapped inside your home with no way to escape as city officials board up your doors and windows. How could this happen in a modern American city? This alarming situation happened in Harvey, Illinois. I talked about this in a video before, but I want to focus on this situation because I think it's extremely important. It raised some serious questions about the city's leadership. And obviously we're gonna be talking about Christopher Clark, the mayor, but I wanna talk about the heart of this controversy is Alderman Tyrone Rogers who has a very checkered past and denials of any wrongdoing in this situation only fueled this situation. In this video, we're going to dive into this disturbing situation, exploring some conflicting narratives from the residents and the officials and examine the broader issues plaguing Harvey under the administration of Mayor Christopher Clark and Alderman Rogers. Let's get into it. This situation erupted when videos and social media posts started circulating, showing what appeared to be residents, including very elderly individuals trapped in their apartments. Video posted on social media showing people pointing to residents who were still inside the building and boarded into their apartments. I don't see any sheriffs here at all. No sheriffs here. And they board in these apartments up. There's still people in these apartments. There's people living here with their kids. Section 8 is paying their rent still. And they is putting these people out their house. Or boarding them up. Harvey is not the sheriffs. Harvey has no control over this. They not the sheriffs. Y'all is here with no sheriffs. Y'all boarding people up in their cribs. This is so wrong on so many levels. Y'all can't do this. Y'all not the sheriffs. Y'all don't have the right. These buildings had been declared inhabitable by city officials due to severe structural issues and a high incidence of criminal activity. A lot of crime going on there. The city had mandated that the property owners secure the buildings to prevent anyone else from going in or coming out, right? The problem is residents claim that they have not been given proper notice and that they were essentially boarded up inside their homes without any means of exit. There's a TikTok video that showed a man knocking on one of these boarded up units, revealing that a 73 year old man was trapped inside. But nobody here was ready for this. Their apartments boarded up with folks still inside. I'm beating on the thing like Rudolph, you're here, you can hear him clearly from inside saying, yeah, I can't get out. Rudolph. Yeah, they broke off the, uh, the handle. They broke the handle off the door and you stuck up in there. The footage sparked outrage, obviously, and things quickly went viral prompting a public outcry against the city's handling of the situation. In response to the growing controversy, we have an alderman by the name of Tyrone Rogers. He vehemently denied that anyone had been boarded up inside their apartments. He described these claims as a total exaggeration and asserted that the city would never take such actions. Another company was contracted to come out and do the board up. The city of Harvey did not do the board up. The city of Harvey did not board up anybody inside any of these apartments. That's a total exaggeration. Rogers stated, nobody's been board up inside any of those apartments. I know it for a fact. I spoke with the police chief. Nobody has been board up inside any apartment, unquote. 144th in Halstead was deemed uninhabitable by professional certified court enforcement officers. Not the police department, not the fire department. Now, for example, give me good, and I didn't interrupt you, and don't interrupt me. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, man, hold on, man, hold on, man. I want us to keep it, I want us to keep it civil. Okay, I would appreciate. We're we'll, we'll, we'll holding your time on this. Okay, I would appreciate. We would appreciate it if you would refrain. When everyone got up and did their public comment, it was nice, it was easy, and we listened. Please do the same. Thank you. Continue on. Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, 
I received a text message to get over here on 144 in the office because this is in my ward. I got over there and I found news media and I found deplorable living conditions. Some of the people that's over there in that building have been very much uncomfortable to me. Okay? Say, for example, your mama, your grandmama, your auntie, your uncle live on the third floor and that news is in. And they kill. And the first thing is that how do you do nothing? So we damn if we do and we damn if we don't. I think that Harvey acted responsible in this particular situation. In, in this climate, in this climate, nobody wants to see anybody get put out. But the, they were issued letters months ago. The city confirms a letter was sent to the owners of this property to notify their tenants they have to be out by a certain day. But some tenants say they didn't get that letter. But it's the letter. The letter that the property manager was supposed to notify all of their tenants to leave by December 29th. But they didn't give us the letter. They put the letters on certain people's doors. Everybody didn't get no letter. The letter was sent December 14th by the city of Harvey's director of building and inspectional services. Before we get into the conclusion of this story, I want to talk a little bit about this alderman. Alderman Tyrone Rogers of Harvey, Illinois, has been embroiled in multiple controversies, some involving some serious allegations. One situation is a pending sexual assault case. Rogers faced accusations of criminal sexual assault, which significantly impacted his political career. But still, he's an alderman. Let's check a little bit about this situation here. So this happened in 2016. It's in Harvey, Illinois. A South Suburban Harvey School Board member was charged Monday with sexual assaulting a woman in the office at the city's municipal center last week. Tyrone Rogers, who sits on the Harvey School Board District 152 board, as well as serving as the village director of commuter parking, was arrested Saturday in connection with the assault. He is scheduled to appear for a bond hearing on Tuesday in Cook County Courthouse in Markham. A 49-year-old woman alleged that she went into the Harvey Municipal Center at about 1 p.m. Friday to meet with Rogers to discuss a village issue on behalf of a friend. According to the Cook County Sheriff's Office, Rogers allegedly took her to the office, locked the door, and sexually assaulted her. Despite the charges, he continued to assert that he was deserving of his position as alderman, obviously leading a divided opinion among the people who live at Harvey. There wasn't anyone else to, to take this job? In addition to this, Rogers has a criminal record dating back to 2014, including arrest for possession of controlled substances. Records show multiple instances where he was arrested for drug-related offenses in California, highlighting a very troubled past that shadowed his public service career. His wife was on the school board of that district, and she stole $1.5 million worth of chicken wings from the school district and then framed a lunch lady. That poor lunch lady. What did you do with $1.5 million worth of chicken wings? Can they find anyone who isn't going to be a criminal to work at these jobs in Illinois? Like, I don't. I just don't get it. These controversies have compounded the recent scandal where, like I said earlier, residents claimed that they were boarded up inside their apartments. It wasn't claimed they were. Despite Rogers' denials and attempts to downplay the situation, the incident had brought to light the broader issues within Harvey. Residents' testimonies starkly contrast with the official narrative, and it showed that the official narrative was full of crap. This was a procedural failure by the city administration. Also, Mayor Christopher Clark also defended the city's actions, attributing the situation to property managers and contracted a company responsible for boarding up the buildings. During a heated civil council meeting, Clark faced increased criticism from both residents and fellow council members. He reiterated that the city's intentions was to ensure the safety of residents by addressing the dangerous conditions of the buildings. Well, the problem is it can't be too safe if you get boarded inside of a home. That's the opposite of safety. So his reinsurances did little to calm the public's anger. Despite the official denials, residents' accounts painted a different picture. Many claimed they have not received adequate notice to vacate their apartments and were shocked to find their doors and windows boarded up. Imagine being in a similar situation. One minute you're in your home, the next minute you cannot get out of your home. Mary Brooks, a resident, stated that she only received the letter on December 14th, informing her that she needs to leave by December 19th. That's a very short notice. The difficulty to find housing on such short notice left many residents feeling a trapped and abandoned. Talking about that one situation earlier, 
came from a resident that was 73 years old who described his ordeal of finding a large piece of plywood blocking his door. Yeah, this man been boarded up inside this apartment. Williams's nephew capturing these videos from the other side, showing crews ignoring their pleas to take the boards down. Rudolph Williams shows us the handles to his screen door, broken off by construction crews as they boarded up his apartment Friday afternoon. The 73-year-old unaware he was being trapped inside. I'm used to the noise when they start to do some construction sometimes. Mm -hmm. Didn't pay really that much attention after a while. I sort of drowned it out, you know. He and other residents, many of whom are elderly or disabled or dependent on Section 8 housing vouchers, express fears about their ability to secure new housing under such constrained timelines. These accounts highlight a significant disconnect between the city official narrative and the real experiences of the people who live in those apartments. Now, the problem is with Mayor Christopher Harvey, his tenure has been marked by a lot of problems, including financial instability, high crime rates, and deteriorating infrastructure, and a lot of money getting pumped in, and it seems like no one knows where it's going. The boarded up controversy only just adds to the perception that this mayor isn't doing the right thing, that this mayor is failing the people in Harvey. And it seems like there's some allegations of corruption that needs to be explored. So Christopher Clark obviously tried to clean up some of this nonsense. He visited some of the residents. Mary Clark has called for revisions to the city ordinances to prevent similar instances from occurring in the future. He also urged more compassionate and coordinated approach to addressing the needs of vulnerable residents. This includes working with Cook County officials to find long-term housing solutions for those displaced by the building closures. However, the damage to the administration's reputation has been significant. There's a lot of accountability that needs to be set. They still lacking with transparency and communication. And a lot of issues that Christopher Clark needs to address. Because a lot of problems that's affecting not just the most vulnerable citizens, but business owners and residents alike. Another thing too, I am wondering how Alderman Rogers continues to have a job, continues to work. It seems like he has a bit of an anger problem. Seem like he has some lot of problems. How's he still an ornament for the city of Harvey? That's unfortunate. But what do you guys think about this story? Thank you for taking time to watch this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.